Hey guys, welcome back. Now the time has finally come to introduce to you my 1,000 horsepower truck. It's a 1957 Chevy Stepside. Whole lot of modifications have been done to this bad boy. Of course, the obvious is the engine sticking out of the hood, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's start with the body mods. This front end is not the typical front end on a 57 Chevy. As you can see, there's no huge hump. There's a hump that comes up here, comes up and goes like this. Well, we shave that off to give it more of an aggressive look. And also it exposes more of the blower. This is also a full tilt fiberglass front end. The front, as you can see, has a custom billet grill and also a lot of other subtle changes is the front, I guess you would call that a bumper, but it starts in the corner and then it actually goes up across and then comes back down. We didn't really like that. We wanted to keep it straight across. So did some fiberglass work and made it go smooth all the way across. Definitely gives it more of a finished look. As we come across the side, you'll notice no door handles, no door locks, no side mirrors. And if you look up higher, no drip rails. Oh yes, can't run these cars without the good old fashioned visor, but we took it a step further and molded it in. No brackets, no nothing. You see, we got a custom cut out for the exhaust along the step side, fiberglass fenders. As you can see the back, the tailgate, there is no tailgate. It's all welded, smooth, body worked. The back's been smoothed out and we got like Frenched in LED tail lights that are really bright. This is basically an open canvas. We're still trying to figure out on what type of graphics we want to do. Okay, so now let's get into the hardware. 22 gallon fuel cell, Fab 9 housing, four link rear suspension. This is obviously a full tub. Back half, Chris Alston frame. Of course, you can't have a big loud truck without big loud train horns. Holly fuel pump which we changed out later, but I'll get to that later. We'll go into the interior. It's all caged, really nice and tight against the body. So when you stand back and look in, you almost can barely tell it's even caged. The Pro Bandit shifter, got some nice gauges, tack and boost gauge. There's some of the electronics in there. We got this digital ignition 7AL with the HVC2 coil. Voila. So it is a little dusty. It's been parked in the garage for a little bit, but the 468 big block, ported polished heads, 671 blower, dual 750 double pumpers. The supercharger is overdriven. I believe it's about like 10 to 15%. Blower is pushing about 10 to 12 pounds of boost. Whole lot of goodies. As you can see, a lot of custom bracketry work for the front end. You can see the tube comes through. Custom brackets for the water reservoir. Custom brackets for the radiator support. Well, actually, that is the radiator support, so it's just holding up the radiator. Three row aluminum radiator. Three inch drive, of course. Electric water pump. All the goodies. Full exhaust. This whole front clip from the firewall forward was from a 70 Camaro. So the frame, the suspension, everything was from the 70 Camaro. Uh, as you could tell, the whole frame, suspension and cage has all been powder coated, purple. Give it a nice accent with the black. I think that looks really good. So we have this whole thing basically murdered out with the black everywhere, black rims, very little chrome, actually no chrome besides valve covers. So yeah, this is this bad boy right here. Let's close the hood. The bed tilts, so I could pop that up for you.
ever so slowly because the bed is pretty heavy. But yeah, I'll stop it. I don't want it to go all the way up because, you know, don't want to bore you. And then it comes down, everything lines up perfectly, drops right with the exhaust. These actuators are a little loud. I'm probably going to switch them out in the future to get them a little bit more quieter. But now, possibly the time you've been waiting for is to hear this thing fire up. We'll give this thing a cold start. It's been sitting for a little bit, you know, and it's supercharged, big block, carbureted. So these things, you know, cold blooded, don't like to idle at first, you know, all that good stuff. So let's, uh, let's give it a crank over. All right, well, let's jump in this bad boy. Key on, fuel pump. horsepower coming to life definitely might rattle the neighbors a little bit but hey it's all part of the fun but anyways this is the truck never really took it to the quarter mile it was mace you know 98% street not sure if it's street legal but it's driven on the street that's why we have a 22 gallon fuel cell so we could drive it for a while but if I were to guess, if we had slicks on it, you know, decent traction, because these Mickey Thompson street tires, it, I mean, 
you just tap the gas and you're sideways. Decent traction. I would guess this thing could probably run eights, high eights. With the, uh, the weight and power combo, this thing's pretty light for what it is. As you can tell, it's been gutted out, but also more weight's been added as like the square tubing for securing the body. And then of course, all the cage work for securing the chassis. But other than that, it's just a body cage motor. But this is it, our pride and joy. Earth Pounder, Street Cruiser, Peace Disturber. Glad I was able to finally show this to you guys because there's gonna be a big improvement to this truck coming probably in the next few weeks. And we're gonna be switching out these bad boys. Carburetors, carburation is going bye-bye. We're getting a custom fuel injection setup, a cross between an Ingerly injection, a Holly Super Sniper injection, and a full custom injection setup all in one. We're getting some help from some other guys. We're gonna have that full build for you recorded on this channel. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that because that's gonna really liven this thing up. It's gonna add probably a lot more horsepower, a lot more throttle response, even though it is pretty snappy already. It's gonna give it more drivability because as you could tell, I fired it up. I have to keep it at 2,500 for four or five minutes and it still struggles to idle. And that's being tuned. This thing's been dyno tuned, ready to roll. It's just carburation, you know, altitude, temperature, humidity, all that stuff plays in the factor. And you have to, if it sits for a while, you gotta adjust the air fuel mixtures, all that stuff. So we're gonna go electronic fuel injection, make our lives easier, make the car run better. And it's gonna look awesome. You guys wait. This is the car or truck. So I wanted to get this video out before we started the injection so you can see like the before and after. Also, who knows, it might even sound a little different. Till then guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.